Hey guys, Henry from Adventure Air. How's it going? Uh, a couple things we're going to show you. The new vertical takeoff auto gyro right here. A new new model. So I just want to know. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so this is the uh, Cavalon that uh, our Franken gyro, I call it, because I'm taking parts off a bunch of gyros and building it. And uh, so we're almost at the painting stage now. We've got a bunch of it sanded down here. We turn it upright so we can get the bottom. We got the tail section here sanded, the rudder, we got some wheel pants, and uh, we are gonna go with the black, with the uh, Raptor liner, uh, truck liner uh, color on the whole thing. It's gonna look have this black color. And then maybe we'll throw a couple of Batman symbols on it or something like that. So we had to Bondo quite a bit, a uh, little Bondo piece here and there of it, and so it's all come out well. But uh, the painting is about to uh, commence and it's gonna be super fun. All right guys, so um, yeah, we, uh, if you didn't remember, we picked this guy up on Craigslist. I found this in a Craigslist posting, uh, Cavalon for sale, and um, they did have some damage to it. There, there was some damage up here. Uh, we have a fiberglass god that uh, is here at the Chino Airport that uh, works on all the aircraft and uh, really top-notch stuff. And uh, so he did some repairs on it, on the nose section here, uh, on the rudder, we had to rebuild some stuff. This is all carbon fiber. Carbon fiber fiberglass is what he works in. And so it is, it is like crazy strong. Sections on the tail here, he reinforced, did a couple of patchworks. But uh, yeah, this stuff's it's, it's almost better than new. So uh, that's why it looks a little spotty. But once we paint it, you will never even see any of that stuff. It's gonna be awesome. By the way, this gyro was originally and still will be an experimental model. The experimental ones um, uh, are not certified, uh, they're experimental, so you can get away with a lot more uh, of the work and things that you're doing on it. Um, also, the certifications for it um, are a lot easier because you, we are the builder. We are the builder of this craft. So yeah, it is an experimental gyro um, with all these repairs and things. It was an experimental gyro before, but it's gonna stay experimental uh, when we get it registered. Yeah, so we have our uh, parts for Franken gyro are right over here. Uh, most of them we ordered new from, from Auto Gyro. Um, new engine mounts, uh, we've got um, a new boom uh, back up here. New rotor head on there, uh, so lots of new stuff that's gonna go on this thing. Uh, and I will be the test pilot that first flies it when we put it together. Woo! Doors, we got them right here for Franken Gyro. So uh, again, Franken Gyro, because we got the parts off a couple of different uh, gyros. Uh, we've taped off the uh, window areas because we're about to paint. And so we have one yellow door, but it's gonna be black. And that door frame uh, was one of the original ones on it. That one's gonna be black as well. And uh, so we are looking good to go. Down here we have some lower cowlings. I think we're gonna use this yellow one. It's kind of in the best shape. And um, that could be our lower cowling. We're having some work done on our upper cowling right now with the fiberglass god. So he's working on that. But pretty soon this whole thing's gonna be coming together. We're super excited. Okay guys, so we've decided on an engine. We're gonna go with the Rotex 912 ULS, which is normally 100 horsepower, um, but uh, we have some upgrades, a new turbo, uh, new cylinders on it, we've got an intercooler, and so it's gonna kick the horsepower up to about 140 to 150, so it'll be equivalent to a Rotex 915. Uh, so we got that uh, engines in Camarillo, I'm about to bring it down here, we'll start working on that, but that'll be the power for the Franken Gyro. Oh, by the way, E.T. phone home. Check with us in a couple of days to see more updates on the Franken Gyro. Woo! See ya!